What's up, YouTube? If you tuned in, you're tuned in for another episode of that unpack. And I hope you enjoyed these other episodes that I've been putting out. It's just little things I've been doing, just, uh, you know, whatever. But shit's pretty tight. And, like, you know, the, you know the drill. You know the drill. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you, uh, you hit that subscribe so you'll be notified every time I drop some new content or something new. Just at that. So today I've been, I was kind of wandering around and, you know, doing things because I always be checking stuff out too. And I figured, and I figured, and this was a good one because I saw it on TV last night and it just came in for a limited time. I don't know if a lot of people have these where they live that watch this, but there's this place. It's called Dairy Queen. Have y'all heard of it? There's actually, you got to be cool though. You got, you got to be, see, because I grew up and my people in Pueblo will, 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 will back me up when I say this. You um, go to Dairy Queen. There was a Dairy Queen on Lake and it was like Lake and Summit, I think. I want to say Lake. Lake and Jones? No, Lake and... One of those ones right there, though. But Lake... And it was right at Caddy Quarter from the 7-Eleven. And we used to go there, like, all the time. When I was a kid, getting ice creams. I mean, there was other places, like the Dairy Deluxe. And other places, they sold hitchhikers. And that was how, that was another one they had in Bessemer Park. But they had that one. And then they had the McDonald's right there. So that's probably why they lost out on food money. Because of the McDonald's. But anyway, this ain't about McDonald's. This is about Dairy Queen. But Dairy Queen, it has been around. Just a little story, a little quick <laughs> snippet. It's been around since 1940. So it's like 81, 82 years old. And it's always started out. And Dairy Queen, and I, I'd always remember them having like, a, what are those called? Like barbecue sandwiches. And the reason I remember that is because I was a little fat kid. And, and I watched The Outsiders. And actually, the girl, and then Matt Dillon, and, and the other guy, uh, that picture right there. <laughs> but Matt Dillon, Pony Boy, and uh, Ralph Macchio, they were on there, and they were like, and the lady's like, you got the girls like, you got ten, you got a dime, you got a dime. And he's like, get out of here, kid. But they were all fucking weirded out. But anyway, and they were at a Dairy Queen. And that was actually like the director's niece or daughter or something like that. Francis Ford Coppola's niece, which was probably Nicolas Cage's cousin or sister. Something like that. Weird thing. Check it out. Let me know. Let me know anywhere in the comments, in the socials or whatever. But let's get into unbagging this loaded A1 Steakhouse burger. Oh, but that was what I was getting at at the beginning. Let me get that real quick. I said that about the Dairy Queen, like you got to make sure you're going to a Dairy Queen that serves food because some of them just sell the ice creams and maybe like a hot dogs or something or nachos. But then there's some of them that serve the whole menu. So I had a, I went to one. They were like, oh, it's the other one that does that. So I was like, all right, bet. So there's two Dairy Queens and I think it's called Chill and Eat, Chill and Treat. And that's the one that you need to go to for the loaded A1 Steakhouse Burger. Let's check it out. Boom, boom, Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen, oh wait, somebody left a little fry, somebody left a fry, bet you was Rosie, thanks Rosie, love you, um, awesome, I might as eat the other one too while I'm there, sure. Mm. Okay, check this burger out. It already smelled like a burger. Mm. And one of the places and one of the things that I realized about Dairy Queen, they started in Juliet, Illinois. That's crazy. Juliet, Illinois. That's like the epitome of cold freezing. You know what I mean? It's like Illinois in the winter. And then they made an ice cream. I would have thought like California or something like that. Or something like that. That's cool. That's not some hipster stuff. But this is the A1 
A1 Steakhouse Burger. And they, they're claiming that it's two. And see, this you could get one, oh, was it a quarter pound? One hundred percent quarter pound. Yes. Do you get a quarter pound patty? A quarter pound. That's one third. Two quarter. You can get three quarter pounds or two half pounds. Or something like that. That sounds weird in my head. Too much math for me right now when I'm taking the day off. I don't gotta worry about it. But I know what it is. So the thing is. They're loading it up. And they're loading it up. So they're claiming applewood smoked sirloin. Or applewood bacon. Bacon on this. So let's open it up and see what we got. Oh, there's an onion ring. See, we got that applewood smoked bacon. See that? Got a couple of onion rings. And you know when the drive through takes a little longer? I am using this because they didn't give me napkins. But thanks, Dairy Queen. It looks awesome so far. Um, it's just on there all crusted. Okay. I'll just give you the look. Mm. Mm. What's that look like? Mmm. Yeah, Juliet, Illinois. That's weird. Somewhere cold. So this is what the burger take looks like when you, you know. Oh, yeah. Let's go for a bite of this. I'm just looking for, you always look for a good place to like sink your teeth into. Mmm. That's actually a really good burger. Two burger patties. Because it's the double. Because there's a double and a triple. And the triple's just as bad. But the loaded, you know, the, 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 the meat tastes fresh. It doesn't really taste like that frozen shit. Which I'm sure everything is nowadays. But the bacon... I've been eating a lot of bacon, too, if you've noticed. And bacon's been good on everything lately. Like, everything. Mmm. Mmm. I taste the A1. I taste the meat. And I taste the bacon. And I taste the onion all together. It's like just... A whole conglomerate of like deliciousness. Like this is a really good burger. Just everything that goes together with it. You know, basically. It's just, oh my goodness. I can't get over that. Let's see. Let's get another bite of that. Oh my God, that's delicious. The meat, the meat is perfect. I mean, for being fast food and all that, it's a good sandwich. And I'm pretty sure it'll give you a good feeling with the fries and everything else. So heck yeah, definitely. If you live by Dairy Queen, chill and grill, make sure you go check out the the loaded A1 Steakhouse Burger. I think it may be only for a limited time, so you might want to get it before Thanksgiving. But, heck yeah, guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my burger. Enjoy the rest of my day. And uh, I hope everybody out there has a blessed day. Blessed time. Blessed everything. Hey, thanks again for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. Till we see each other again.